everyone, today I'm going to talk to you about what is on my Apple Watch, the pros, the cons, and whether or not I think it is overall worth it to own an Apple Watch. So first off, I'll start by saying I have the 38mm Apple Watch with the rose gold color and the pink band. I know there is one with a bigger screen, but this was just fine for me. In this video, I will show you a close-up of all the apps that I use and just so you can see how it functions. I just want to start off by saying what makes the Apple Watch worth it to me. The apps are really cool and everything. There's definitely some great productivity apps and there's like meditation apps, game apps. But the thing that really stands out for me is the built-in fitness portion of the watch. I feel like that definitely makes it overall worth it for me. I don't think I would have got the Apple Watch if it was just the extras and all the other little apps. The fitness part is what really stood out for me and makes it completely worth it. Let's keep in mind this is a product that is like $500 Canadian so that's obviously a hefty price point and I definitely wanted to make sure it was worth my while before investing in it and I'm sure you guys all do too. The fitness part of the watch is just so cool. You can access it from the watch as well as your iPhone and there's three different rings so the goal is to close all three rings each day. There's a calorie ring, there is a stand goal ring, and there is a exercise minutes ring, and they're all color coded, so this makes it easy to see. Um, the exercise minutes, the goal per day is 30 minutes, and then you set your own calorie goal. Mine's personally 400. It's only the calories that were used in an active state, if that makes sense. The stand goal is basically you have to be active for one minute per hour and the goal is to do that for 12 hours. If you have a desk job, you would be surprised at how hard it is to reach this goal. It's like you're purposely trying to stand up at least, you know, for a couple minutes each hour. But it is a great reminder because it subtly nudges you like, hey, you should stand up. So you're like, oh crap, like I've literally been sitting for like two hours or something, you know? Something about the Apple Watch and its fitness component really is motivating. It sends you notifications to see like where your goals are at for the day and that kind of thing, and it makes you want to push yourself further each day. You can also compete with your friends who also have Apple Watches, which is fun. It's cool to have your own personal database of all the workouts you've done since you've owned the watch. It's just cool to look back on like what months you were like super active and what months could have used some work, and you can kind of base that off of, you know, like, okay, where do I want to, where do I want to be this month? Like, what numbers do I want to achieve? It just really helps with fitness goals for me personally. So overall, I think the fitness component is really what makes the Apple Watch worth it. If you're not really into fitness, I'm not sure I would really vouch for this product. Um, it is obviously great overall. You can like put your calendar, your to-do list, you can have like meditation apps. There's obviously so many other things that it does do, but I personally think that the fitness part is what really does make the price point worthwhile. The Apple Watch also has many different activities that you can track, everything from skateboarding to hockey to a regular walk, hit training, there's so many different options. Even if the watch doesn't have the activity that you're specifically doing, there's always the other option, which will track it no matter what. Yeah, so there's like just like a slow countdown of three, two, one, and then your workout starts and it tracks it based on what kind of exercise that you are doing. I do have the Series 3 and I know this one is waterproof. I'm not sure if the models before this one are waterproof, so don't try it unless you do some research on that. But yeah, it's really cool because you can do pool workouts. You can just do laps in your pool and then, you know, get a workout in that way. Some of my favorite apps on here are the Starbucks one. You can use your, um, your gift card on the Apple Watch. I love the to-do list because it syncs from your laptop to your phone to the watch so you can um, check things off as you go. There's a calculator which is super handy. I'll show you all these things up close but just like off the top of my head these are some of my favorites. I have a pedometer. Before the Apple Watch I used to have a Fitbit and if you've had one of those you know that they track your progress based on how many steps. I basically started to you know measure my fitness success in a day by like the amount of steps I was doing like a 10,000 step goal. So I do like to have that app on my phone and I actually have it on my home screen as well. It's just like good to gauge like how active I was that day which is cool. I also personally love to have the weather network app on my Apple Watch. I think it's so much more accurate than the Apple app itself. It just gives way more details and yeah I just prefer that one much better and that is also on my home screen. Now I will give you a close-up of some of the apps that I have on my Apple Watch. Okay, so here is my Apple Watch up close. This is the home screen that I have chosen. It just shows everything really clearly, the time, the date, 
fitness, pedometer, the temperature and weather network, and just the phase of the moon for something cute. You can quickly tap these kinds of things to access the app itself. Okay, so now I'm gonna click the digital crown to get to my home screen to show you the apps I have. So these are all my apps. So we have the blue one being Shazam, Photos, Calendar. We have Spotify, a camera. So you can access your phone camera through your watch. I'm not really sure why you would ever need to do that, but it is a feature. There's calling, there's mail. I also have my Simply Financial debit card. I have the App Store. And then there's Weather Network, that yellow one, which is what I told you is better than the Apple one in my opinion, so I like to use that. And that is the one that I have on my home screen for ready looking. Then there is the Etsy app, and then we have the fitness app, which is the little circles. Um, that's to look at your like fitness information, and this green one here is to actually start a new workout. Then there is the music app in the bottom right there. There's settings, there's GPS, there's find my friends, stopwatch, that little light blue one is meditation. The one here is the weather, but it's the Apple one that I don't think is as good. So I could probably take that off my watch screen. Then there's the calculator, and then there's that flow app, which is the period tracking app for Apple. This is my pedometer app. This is sad. This just means I have literally not done like anything today besides working from home and filming this video. I will do a workout later and my steps will go up. This is my wallet, so like gift cards and debit and credit cards can go on there. Facebook chat, and this is actually like a walkie-talkie. So if you just needed to say something quick and don't want to actually get on a phone call, you could do that. I have Renfo. I think it's called Renfo. It's like a body fat... Um, scale so it's just one of those like smart scales and it um, has an attachment app to the apple watch and then i have my fitness pal i used to use this not so much anymore it is a great app for macro counting and even better that they have it for the apple watch as well so you can get a quick glance of your macros the to-do one is probably my favorite one i really like the to-do app i like that i've made it pink it's just so cute with the hearts can make your own little icons and stuff. As you can see, I have a specific to-do list for after quarantine, which is hilarious. Things like getting my nails done, hair done, that kind of thing. So if I click all, we can see everything. So today I wanted to edit a video and post it. Do a workout. And yeah, these are just cool things and you can click them, check them off or uncheck them. So that's really nice that I can do that all from my phone. This is the wallet part of the app, which is cool. I have my Starbucks card, Sephora, VIB Rouge thing. There's a ticket one, also Apple Pay. So here's the main workouts. So there's just, you can see there's so many different options. And then there's other if you don't have something specific in mind. Yeah, so you would just click one of those and then it gives you a 3, 2, 1 countdown and then the workout starts and it tracks everything you need it to. And then here is the tracking of everything. So you have your move goal, exercise, and as well as the stand goal like I explained before. So as you can see, I have literally done nothing today, um, but that's okay. I will work out later and those will move and hopefully close. And these are just some friends that I have on here. Yeah, so you can do little competitions with them. And these are awards. You can win different challenges and stuff. And that's about it for that. I also have this currency um, app, so that's cool. So if you're in a different country, you can quickly do a currency exchange and see what the rates are. This is the Weather Network, my favorite weather app. As you can see where I live, the weather absolutely sucks. It is May and it is still cold, not ideal. Oh yes, wish I was in Florida right now. Oh boy. So as you can see, there is a phone icon and if I'm near my phone, I can make calls. I just can't be too far away from it. I don't have the actual cellular plan that costs a bit extra and it just wasn't really worth it for me. To access any of your notifications, you just slide up from the top like this. 
So right now I have no notifications. And then if you slide from the bottom, there's some other options. You can see what your battery's at. You can put it on airplane mode, make sure it's on Wi-Fi. This will alert your phone to see where it is. This is honestly such a good feature. See, it pings my phone so then I can easily find it. Then there's a flashlight feature, which just makes a white screen. Then there is a nighttime feature, so it just doesn't make any noises or alerts. The water droplet is to like, just in case you're washing your hands and you get a bit of water in it, it will just quickly spit it out of the little tiny holes. There's the walkie talkie feature again at the bottom. And then I believe the red bell is just to not have any loud noise notifications, which I don't like to have on my watch. I also just want to mention some of the favorite accessories that I have for my Apple Watch. Right now, the band that I have is just the one that came with it, the light pink one. Some of my favorite bands that I've ever used are the Kate Spade ones. They're so unique and pretty and durable. These are just made of a silicone material. And I have this black one from Kate Spade as well, so I'll just show you that. It has pretty pink flowers on it. And another thing I quickly want to mention is this really cool charging dock. So this is it up close. You put the actual circle charger inside of this pink contraption, which is so cute. It just sits on my floor or you could put it on your desk. And yeah, this just creates like a cute little stand for you to charge your Apple Watch. Just comes with, just comes with the full cord attached. You like feed it through the bottom and it has just these little pads sit nicely on your floor and yeah it just makes charging your apple watch look so much cuter in my opinion and i like to have something that it's actually resting on not just sitting on my floor bare so yeah i really like this accessory this is from amazon and i will link it down below so yeah, overall, I think the fitness functions definitely make the Apple Watch totally worth it. If you're not into fitness, it's definitely something I would think twice about because I'm not sure if the productivity apps on there really do make the price point worth it. Maybe it totally does for you. I feel like the fitness part is really what pushed me over the edge. The ability to track all my workouts and that kind of thing just definitely did make it overall worth it for me. I hope me sharing some of my favorite apps will make your Apple Watch setup easier if you do decide to buy one or even if you already do have one, I hope my information helps you download some new apps that you might really love. So again, to clarify, I have the 38 millimeter rose gold series three Apple watch with no cellular. And to put it in perspective, when this watch does age and that kind of thing, I definitely will repurchase one. That is how much I love it. And I really do think it is worth your while. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys next time.